Millions of people around the world suffer from low thyroid or hypothyroidism. Now, there are millions of people who are diagnosed, but the problem is there are millions of people who are suffering from low thyroid who have not been diagnosed by their doctor, either because they haven't been to the doctor or because their doctor is not aware of all of the signs and symptoms I'm gonna talk about in this video. They're just aware of the most common symptoms and signs and therefore they discount your other signs and symptoms. But I'm gonna give you this video and try to list virtually every sign and symptom that can be associated with low thyroid so that you can continue to do your own research and you can go to your doctor armed with the knowledge that, yeah, my symptoms, they are low thyroid symptoms. We need to check a full thyroid panel. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience. And this video is going to tell you about low thyroid symptoms, common and uncommon. The development of low thyroid is a very slow and a very subtle process. If it just happened overnight, then you would know immediately something is wrong, but it's very, very common for people to slowly slide into having a low thyroid over months or even many years. And so you kind of get used to your new normal and you don't even recognize it as these symptoms being abnormal. Now, first I'm gonna go through the most common signs and symptoms of low thyroid that, that most doctors and many people know about. But then at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you about some uncommon signs and symptoms of low thyroid that you may have never heard of before. Now, please, if you know someone who suffers from more than one of these symptoms, please share this video with them. You can share it in an email, on social media, in a message, but please help them understand there may actually be a medical cause of their symptoms. So first, let's go through the common signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism. They consist of fatigue, weight gain or inability to lose weight, constipation, always feeling cold when others around you don't feel cold, uh, dry skin, muscle weakness, and a gorder or a swollen thyroid gland. Those are the most common signs and symptoms of low thyroid. Most doctors know these symptoms and many people out there know that those are somehow related to the thyroid. But now let me tell you about the uncommon signs and symptoms of low thyroid. And some of the ones toward the end of this list, you are gonna be blown away because you would have never guessed this could be caused by a low thyroid. Okay, now here we go with the uncommon signs of low thyroid or hypothyroidism. Here they are, infertility. Yeah, many women have trouble getting pregnant and it's low thyroid is the blame. Breast pain, fibrocystic breast disease. These things can come from a low thyroid. Clumsiness in general. Yeah, if you're more clumsy now than you were uh, months or years ago, could be your thyroid. Restless leg syndrome, just a general decrease in motivation. You, you want to want to do stuff, but you don't really want to. If you have sweet cravings that have intensified, that could be low thyroid. If you have tinnitus, that ringing in your ears, actually associated with low thyroid. Blurred vision, is that also associated? Eye spasms, you know that little spasm that won't stop? That could be a sign of low thyroid. Sleep apnea and snoring are also strongly associated with low thyroid. Uh, perspiration changes. You're e you either, either sweat a lot more now than you used to or you sweat much less now than you used to. That can be directly linked to a low thyroid. Uh, frequent infections, repetitive bladder infections, repeated colds and bronchitis can be related to low thyroid. More uncommon signs and symptoms of low, low thyroid are poor memory, uh, trouble concentrating, just an unexplained shortness of breath. Now, obviously shortness of breath can be related to many different medical problems, as can all of these symptoms that I'm talking about, but they are all strongly related with a low thyroid. Uh, hoarseness of the voice. You used to have a nice voice, now it's very hoarse and raspy, could be low thyroid. 
uh, dysmenorrhea. So this is any change in your menstrual cycle. If it's much heavier now than it used to be, or it's much, much lighter now, if it's irregular, all those can be low thyroid symptoms. Any neuropathy, burning, tingling, numbness, itching of the feet, the toes, the legs, the hands, the arms, anywhere on your body can be associated with low thyroid. A worsening of your hearing. Now, obviously part of that is due to getting older, but if it's getting worse very quickly, it could be low thyroid. Hair loss, very tightly associated with low thyroid. If you have a slow pulse rate or a heart rate that's much slower than it should be and you're not on any medication to cause that, it could be your thyroid. If you have unexplained swelling or edema, that can be due to a low thyroid. If you have symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome, that is actually linked to a low thyroid. Not always, but often enough that it is a sign and symptom. Uh, joint pain, so it might be arthritis, it might be low thyroid. Mental depression, mental anxiety, any change in your mental health can be absolutely due to low thyroid. Muscle pain, so you just have muscle pain for no reason, or you stay sore for, for days after you've done some little uh, physical task. That could be low thyroid. Th thyroid. A poor appetite, yeah. Low libido, this is actually much more common than most doctors realize. A low libido or just lack of sex drive could be from a low thyroid. Facial swelling, facial fullness, thickening of the fa facial skin could be from your uh, thyroid. If you have swelling around your eyes, just puffy eyes every day, all day long, that could be low thyroid. If you're losing the outer third or the outer one half of your eyebrow, but the middle part's still fine, that's a classic sign of low thyroid. If you notice that your tongue seems to be swollen, seems to be too big for your mouth, that's actually one of the old timey signs of low thyroid. If you have uh, EKG changes, and there are many different EKG changes, if you have an, uh, echo, uh, an electrocardiogram, changes on that can point to a low thyroid. If you have fluid around your heart called a pericardial effusion that your doctor happens to find and there doesn't seem to be a reason for it, it can be low thyroid. Now, lab findings that most doctors absolutely should know point to low thyroid, but many don't include if you have an elevated C-reactive protein, that could be low thyroid. If you have a low sodium in your blood work, that can be low thyroid. If you have an elevated triglycerides or an elevated LDL cholesterol, that can point to low thyroid. Also, if you're anemic or if you have protein in your urine, all those lab results can, not absolutely are, but can be related to a low thyroid. Now, the reason you need to know this list is that many doctors think that checking a TSH or a thyroid stimulating hormone is a complete thyroid uh, test, and it's absolutely not. Other doctors who are a little less bad will check a TSH and a free T4 and think that they have got, done a good thorough check of your thyroid health. Problem is that is inadequate. It is absolutely inadequate, and it misses many, many people who are suffering from a low thyroid. I'm gonna do a video uh, shortly on this channel about the tests involved in testing your thyroid completely. So if you haven't already subscribed, click the subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it. So when I post that video about the full thyroid panel of all the tests you need to test your thyroid function completely and thoroughly, you'll get a notification from YouTube. All right, guys, this is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.